about viewing photos, a little tip about Google Photos. And it is, if you start using Google Photos, it means you do not need to use gallery or the Apple Photos anymore. Drives me nuts when I know that somebody is using Google Photos and yet they go to show me a picture and they still use their old app. So let's let's switch over to the phone and tell, show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. And I'll start with the Samsung with the Android phone. There we go. Little focus maybe. Yeah. That's better. Okay. All right. Now, what I'm talking about, when you get a, a Android phone, you normally use this gallery in order to see your pictures. That's Google Photos. You have to install that. The gallery came with the phone. And if you use gallery, then you're just seeing the photos on the phone. You know, if you keep them cleaned off like I do, there's not many there. If you're using Google Photos, you should not view your pictures with gallery. View your pictures with photos. Google Photos. And that's a screenshot. And here I have 60,000. Six, and I can go all the way back, you know, to 2004. I can, I can continue. The tip is you can see a whole year at a glance in month-to-month -month groupings if you Pinch. So just pinch the screen and then pinch again. Every time you pinch, the view gets more zoomed out until you're seeing a whole month and by year. So I can see 2016 all in one glance and I say, oh, it was in March that we did something that I want to see the picture. Then you tap on something, you tap on again. Every time you tap, you're zooming in. So pinch is how to see it. And I did nothing to make these month groupings. This is the default way that Google Photos works. And I'll show you on the iPhone just to, just so you can believe me that it works exactly the same. <laughs> you don't think they'll believe you? <laughs> you have to I show know. them. Seeing, seeing is believing. Not always. So on the iPhone, the default app is this one that looks like a flower. Called, it's also called Photos, just to make it more confusing. But if you do that, you're only seeing the photos on the phone, and I don't have very many. It, but instead, you use the Google Photos app. And I took a bunch of screenshots. And here I am seeing the same 60,000 pictures that I have on the other phone. And if you pinch, so pinch the screen until you can't, until it doesn't pinch anymore. And now I have 2016 and grouped by month. So that's my tip is view your photos using the Google Photos app and pinch the screen to see grouped by month. Lots.